Good morning, Dr. Kelts. Good morning, Lisa. How are you doing? Oh, I'm wonderful. How are you? It's a fantastic, beautiful day I'm alive. It is. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah. We're breathing. We're here. It's all a gift. I always say uh, under the weather mm-hmm. and above the ground. Yes. It's a good place to be. <laughs> it absolutely yes, is. Yes, yes. What are we talking about today? Uh, well, there's been a lot of discussion about supplements and vitamin deficiencies. Um, of course, many of our clients are taking prenatal vitamins, but do we need to take more sometimes? And when do we test for possible vitamin deficiencies that could be leading to infertility? Well, I, I think that uh, most people will test these days for vitamin D yes. or will be deficient, at least in the uh, upstate New York yes. region. And uh, so I typically recommend two to 4,000 mm-hmm. units a day, and it's a good idea to get checked, and, yeah. and uh, you have a better idea of what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, other vitamins, uh, I, you know, it's always a hard one to know what to test and yes. how much to take. Uh, if you're having a well-balanced diet mm-hmm. and taking a multivitamin, that's good. Yes. We know that folic acid is very important mm-hmm. uh, by taking at least uh, uh, 400 micrograms a day. Uh, women will reduce the risk of uh, neural tube defects, and Great. and so. Uh, but there's evidence that many of those women uh, may have some defects that are unable to metabolize uh, folic acid uh, effectively, and checking for MTHFR. Yes. Uh, 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 def- defects is maybe very important to do. Um, taking extra folic acid important, um, and then and then uh, looking at fish oil, okay. and and taking some omegas. I think uh, current is about uh, three grams. Yes. Uh, I recommend to take an antioxidant. I recommend OPC, uh, but there are lots of others out there, mm-hmm. and and you can spend a lot of money on all these things. Yes. And I'm always looking for what's the one thing you could take every day. Mm-hmm. And uh, my, my sense is uh, 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 vitamin D, mm-hmm. folic acid, uh, the CoQ10. Yes. There's a lot more information that CoQ10 is uh, the machinery for the mitochondria. Interesting. And that mitochondrial defects uh, affect uh, the cell division of our gametes and that may contribute to uh, 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 non-disjunction um, and aneuploidy. Uh, so taking, uh, we've typically recommended two to 400 uh, milligrams, it may be as high as a thousand milligrams mm-hmm. and if you look out there that there's some evidence that higher doses may be, may be beneficial. Mm-hmm. And these are only suggestions in a discussion yes. I think it's real important to consult with uh, uh, your own physician before Absolutely. you sort of make these decisions. Um, but a well-balanced diet, mm-hmm. good. good daily uh, thoughts in the mind, yes. real good, and uh, keep the body moving. Thank you, and we are happy to discuss all of these options and more detailed protocols for vitamins and supplements during our free phone consults, during our follow-up talks, and any of your appointments with us. Um, we're always happy to discuss what may benefit your fertility and enhance your personal cycles. Awesome. Great. Have a good day. God bless. Thank you.